Okay. Good morning. We have the most exciting day planned for us. Let's go see what the town council is up to. I guess I'll give you the full news anchor report coming to you live from Los Angeles, California. My name is Morgan Adams. I just broke every sense of moral that I have by saying my name in third person. But we're on the news today, so welcome back, Channel 7. Hey, on the Upper East Side, well, quite honestly, I don't know exactly what side we're facing, but the Upper East Side sounds really nice. We have pouring rain pelting from the sky. Now, we do have a lot of citizens that are very upset about this. One citizen in particular has just straightened her hair. Now, I get that this is um, a selfish reason to be upset about the rain because quite honestly, I do love the rain. I love the come clean Hilary Duff music video vibe. You gotta give and take, very wet day. It's like a tsunami. What are you doing over here on the Upper East Side? Oh, he exited out of the well, yeah, I'm out the <laughs> Are you emailing, huh? My Postmates order. Do you think that Postmates is your most useless expense? Not useless, but like worst expense in the world of finance. In finance, yes, but in life convenience, no. Hmm. Nice catching up with you. Thank you for your interview. Hello, Upper East Sider. What is your um, update of the day? Um, I don't have any updates but I'm extremely busy. Now we are asking citizens of the town, what do you think that your most useless purchase is? Now is that on Animal Crossing or real life? We're talking real life here, ma'am. This is a very serious news channel. And can you repeat the question? <laughs> what do you think that your most useless expenses? I'd be afraid to admit that I spent money on Candy Crush. Thank right? you for your exclusive interview. It was so dark and gray and now look at it. The sun will always shine again, folks. Okay, I guess now that I've bombarded everyone else with what their financial regret is, I'm gonna tell you what mine is. Um, oh no. Um, my god, it's dusty in here. I haven't been in here in a hot minute and it is dusty. Sorry, English. Over the past few months, I've taken up a hobby in finance channels. Now, this is a very out of character move because when I was in business school, I literally dropped out because I was like, all of these dudes are legit squares and do nothing but work on Excel sheets all day and I don't like any of them. But now I get it. <laughs> it's kind of fun to look at what's a good investment, what's a bad investment, what's a bold investment, what's a low risk investment. So I've been working with my brother Austin on a bunch of different investments. And I've also been watching this YouTuber. I'm sure that you've heard of him. His name is Graham Steven, right? And he is so brutal to all of the girls like me that get coffee every single day. And at first, right, I was like, okay, maybe he's just a fraud. I have come to realize a lot of my own horrid habits. All right, I think one of my good traits that is followed by many bad traits, I am adaptable to anywhere. I could be dropped off in Colorado, I could be dropped off in LA, you could drop me off in the middle of Alaska and I would make it work somehow, some way. But the flaw to that is I always have one thing that is stable and that is that wherever I go, I'll be fine as long as there's a Starbucks there. It sounds like a very shallow and va vapid, vapid, whatever, problem to have. I used to have this friend, her family would go to Starbucks multiple times a day, right? So when I was 12, I was like, damn, you guys are big rich. I can't even say it with a straight face because it sounds so stupid, but I am now the suburban housewife, minus the, I don't have a house and I'm also not a wife, but I go to Starbucks multiple times a day Do I really want to admit that to people? It's my COVID comfort, okay? I wasn't always like this. Biggest expense every month besides like cost of living is Starbucks. How fucking embarrassing is that? Why? It's so dumb. I am so dumb for that. I might be the dumbest person on the earth for that. <laughs> anyway, step one, we've acknowledged the problem. Step two, we are gonna develop healthy habits to fix the problem. I have Googled to the nine dupes of every Starbucks drink that I would rotate through my bloodstream. Let's go fight our unhealthy habits. Oh my God, I am up in here looking like the beverage connoisseur. If this is a success, I'm gonna put barista on my LinkedIn profile. Just so the guys know, you know. There's definitely a few ingredients that I'm not familiar with. This whole car is about to be straight up water weight. It's gonna be like a cruise ship up in here. This is stage one of a high resistance up in this bitch up right now. Starbucks drink. So do you know what I found out though, mom? No. So I have four drinks that are in my rotation, but the chai tea latte that we get, That's it's us. one of my favorites, one of the best in my opinion. 
has 45 to 50 grams of sugar. Uh, yeah. I like caught myself in the mirror one day and I was like, am I a little pregnant? And then I was like, no, it's the chai. <laughs> I'm having a chai, baby. So the last six weeks, you've been buying coffees for Grandma and I, though. She leaves, though, and she leaves for the longest time. I can't figure out where she goes. Every time I'm in Colorado, she goes, do you want anything from Starbucks? And then two hours later, she walks through the door, and it's like, yeah. well, okay. which Starbucks did you go to? One. There's a Starbucks <laughs> four feet from our house. Like, I could jump to the Starbucks. I could skip on one foot. I could get to Starbucks. Mine is always really long. I try to tell Grandma that, but... And then I go. Does she ask where I am? Uh huh. Have you ever noticed that most things in your pantry are expired? Yeah. I'm no, telling you. This is a chai tea latte. Oh, we're gonna need so oh, much I'm boiling so water. Excited. So much oh, boiling well, water. We have Step one chai tea latte. Okay, well, where can I pour this hot water? I don't know, not on me. Don't we need it for the chai tea? Oh. But you have, yeah, but do you have enough, not for the chai tea, but for others. You know that only one of my stove tops works. See, if you have this big freaking house and Ooh. only one <laughs> stove works. Not much of the kitchen work. Look at this thing. You think, oh my gosh, pasta is gonna be so great. You have a pot filler. Plop this, you think it's gonna turn on? Absolutely, oh, it worked! When they first moved in here, I put something in the microwave and it started like... That's not a workable microwave. I want you to use 2% milk, but because I knew that you were being a part of this, I opted for skim milk. Well, I really only do almond milk. I don't eat cows. We had, we had French, French dip, dip last, last night. night. Do you yes. know what category that's under? Steak. Do you know where that gets cooked up? I know, Cow. but I love chai because I like the way it smells because it makes me feel safe inside. The sugar, if it's giving you a mental boost, is it worth it? Maybe. Chris, be honest, would I make a good barista? I think so. <laughs> Chris is always nice to me. I don't think... I've never been around Chris and thought for one second like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> the honey, I think, was meant to go in after. Yeah. I always opt for this little guy. Looks like someone I would date. I hope I have enough chai to milk ratio. Does it smell good? <laughs> it smells really good. Mm, it does smell good. This once was my human boyfriend and I turned him into a spoon. You left the stove on. That's all you had to do? I oh, mother F. <laughs> I'm like following her, cleaning the messes. The year of redemption, look how nice he is to me. I've always been nice no, to I, you. I've always claimed that, but I'm like proving it to everyone. Everyone thinks that I'm viciously bullied by my family and I'm here to squash the rumors. <laughs> my boyfriend <laughs> that I turned into a spoon, not so much. If you ever want to date me and think about doing me wrong, look at this guy right here. Well, I think people- Things did not end well. I yet. think people think you think- People think that I what? I don't no. think much. You're happier in Colorado because when you're here, I'm the evil mean spirit. That is like the most ludicrous <laughs> thing I've ever heard though. Truly the reason like I saying, won't move to Colorado is because me. I like you so much. Okay, I use a frother. Here you go. Oh, thank you. What is that? A frother. Sometimes there's water. <laughs> you never told us we were being hired to be cleaner uppers. I can't say I've ever used a frother. On the lid, knowing you, it would go. Is it working? Morgan. I don't know. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that is quite immaculate. We have nutmeg and cinnamon for topping. Everyone can choose their own garnish. Oh, that's a lot of cinnamon. From your at-home barista, one for you. Cheers, ladies. Cheers. I feel a tongue burn coming on. It's not that hot. Okay. It's good though. I think my milk ratio, too much milk, but it's pretty good. Wow. I do like it. It is really good. See, I can do this. I do like the cinnamon too. Yeah. I would rate this an honest eight out of 10. I need to perfect the ratio though. My other favorite thing that I eat more days than not. All of a sudden, it's wildly popular. They had like a crazy spike or the egg white bites. They're so tasty. Oh, they're I cracked an egg a few weeks ago and everyone was like, I've never seen someone crack an egg like that, but I just hit it on the counter and used both hands. Here, do you want me to do it? <laughs> no, nah, fam. Okay. <laughs> See if I can do it. Come out! I don't think it 
knows that command. Literally oh. meeting you right now, Mom. Like, I am stuck to your umbilical no, cord again. No, you're not. Stop it. And flop the egg yolk to the other one. And then, yeah, like that. See that? Oh! I've taught you something. <laughs> I want to use some of my cutting techniques. People are really uh, proud of how I cut things. People? Yes, Who's oh, people? Wow. How did you do that? Look at this. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's a boy! That's really triggering, oh, actually. actually. Take this internet. Is this thin enough? Oh, yeah, and that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I love the peppers. I'll just snack on them. What? I like them, but I don't want to just chip it back in my throat. Celery? No. This? Yes. See, I think I'd prefer celery. <laughs> I don't like celery. Well, celery didn't ask. <laughs> you feisty kids, man. <laughs> now we put some cheddar cheese. He's a very good assistant. Morgan. I don't know if that's too much, enough. I'll um, put some more, who cares? So because we don't have Muffin tins, though it's gonna be like a. Yeah, we're gonna a, make an egg white loaf. Kind of similar to what one would call an omelet if you're big in the egg community. Just called an egg cube. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> 25 minutes, please. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> That's why I showed up today. Let's hope it gets stirred around. We'll just now use... we wait for our egg loaf. Oh, timer. Perfect. I'll use my phone. I've actually been waiting all day for this because I haven't had cold brew yet today. I love cold brew. I used to be my really bad habit is that like around 7 p.m. I thought it was fun to drink a venti cold brew and then stay up all night with my heart racing. That's a death. I've grown a lot since then though. Cold brew with sweet cream. I actually like the Irish cream more, but it's only a Christmas thing. I'm going to use <laughs> heavy whipping <What>? cream. <laughs> a little bit of this. Heavy cream. I'm telling you, oh. my immune system is booming because I have put so much garbage in my body. Gosh, it's a good thing I saved my child. That's the same. This, Monica. which is very world markety. Do people put this in alcohol too or just coffee? Maybe we should do this video again with alcoholic beverages. We could change it up right now. It said four little drops, so I think that's good. Cold for the cold brew. You can either get the cold brew like this or you can get the concentration. It's still Starbucks brand, so I'm not really doing the most work. We could get an aesthetic shot like the Instagram girls where you put the cream on top. Some cold brew. That is, sometimes I get DMs of people that say, oh, I saw you drinking a cold brew, so I got a cold brew and it tasted like shit. And I'm like, yeah, it doesn't taste good. I like cold brew. It gets the job done. So but then you're not enjoying it. Here comes the cream. Hopefully it's good. Ooh, that looks pretty. Ooh. He's a baddie. Baddie is born. Cheers. Okay. All right. Mm. I like it. The heavy whipping cream is all I taste, honestly. Like. Yeah. You're like working around it. To me, it's waxy. Uh, uh, Let me sweeten it up a little. It's a montage of you not being <laughs> able to open things. Cue montage of me not being able to open things for 20 minutes. Are you sure about that? Ooh. Riveting <laughs> stuff here. <dear. laughs> a little. Ooh. Oh my god, that's fun. Sink. Is it good? Oh, that's significantly better. The stevia well, does change the game for this drink. Mm -hmm. Oh, it, it Ooh, does I make a it. difference. I'm gonna drink the whole thing, and like about 20 minutes from now, I'm gonna be <laughs> taking my two hour <laughs> ride to Starbucks, if you know what I mean. I give this actually, with the stevia, a nine. Ooh. And it's pretty freaking close to the real one. I like Amen, it. Amen, sisters. Mm -hmm. I'm about to get woozy. <laughs> I don't know if that's the word, actually. Called medicine ball tea. I took a picture the other day on my walk because I was like, oh my god, a tea bag that you get at the store. Why am I paying five dollars for this? Need hot water, which he had. Two things that work are the ow! Well, yeah, oh, it's it started the talking. <laughs> so this is made up of mint. So, yeah, you can tell that. And peach tranquility. What's taking you so long over there? Supposed to have two tea bags now? Yeah. A little agave. Peppermint extract. So it said you can do with or without. I'm doing just with. a little. Oh. Just a tiny bit. Oh my gosh. Oh my 
gosh, it was too hot, sorry. I like it. Oh yeah, this is it real really good. Is. I would highly, highly recommend. Mm. Mm. This is the best one so far. Ten There's out quite of ten. the array of liquids to be drinking. Ten, ten out of ten? Ten out of ten. It's the first ten out of ten. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I'd have to say the chai was my ten out of ten. This is like maybe seven out of ten. So, last but not least, our egg square is cooking. We are making the pink drink, which I think is my mom's favorite. It is. Let's put it in. Everyone gets one. Brew your own water, please. Ooh, it smells really good. I am not a full service bar. You still have to brew your own water unless hey, you're Chris Ryan coming to my house for tea, then I'll do it for you. <laughs> I love the smell of it, Morgan. Ew, it does smell delicious. It does. We're gonna let that sit for a second. <laughs> Pull up the tea packet and you wanna squeeze all of it out. Got the hot tips and tricks. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I mean. Cooked though? Oh yeah, it's cooked. I opened this and it's just like so potent. Oh my God. We missed the mark on something. What? Oh no. Because this takes grape juice. So there's supposed to be lemonade in something. That's what's missing. Put a little lemonade in there. That is well. hysterical. <laughs> Oh, now see, this tastes exactly like the one. Oh, well, that is what gives it a little bit of a kick. <laughs> well, sorry, stupid on me. Back to this. Equivalent parts of coconut milk and this, what is this? White grape juice. I love all grapes. Yeah. Creamy. Three clam, it's a little ice. If you don't get a venti, then can you put these in? You don't yeah. get any drink because they it's all ice at Starbucks. No ice, please. A little agave again. Optional. Oops, so sorry. Sorry. These don't look as pink as the pink drinks. Oh, it's pretty though. Uh, it tastes nothing the same. Not even close. <laughs> I wasn't sure if we were gonna be honest. It tastes like a watered down version of it. Yeah. Yeah, it tastes like if you got a pink drink venti. Drank three fourths of it, and then the ice melted, so you had like a half cup. That's what it tastes like. I mean, it's not bad though. Like I'd I'd finish it. Yeah. Okay, that's a little closer. Well, this was so much oh. fun. <laughs> At home, best ranked chai cold brew. Uh, chai tea cold brew pink. You're welcome. I think I would have to agree with that, but I would rank high. Tide is the cold brew and the medicine ball tea. Fourth is the pink drink. The chai and the cold brew and the medicine ball tea, I will start making at home. I'll let you know in a month from now how much money I save. Um, I have a very important problem. Okay, cause it's only 11 o'clock. We didn't get your final ratings for the drinks. The chai was number one. Medicine ball, I have to say was number two. Pinkity drink was last. Well, and if you put me on camera, looking like this, I am going to not let you in the house again. Like, <laughs> I, I will I say, forgot. this yeah. looks pretty legit considering it's flat instead of uh, balls. That is actually, yeah, that's not bad at all. I don't mind it being a flat bread. It does Thank taste you. like Starbucks, but healthy. All right, let's mm. try that. Wow. Yeah, it's like Starbucks minus the trans fat. This is fantastic. It's pretty good. It's really good. Wow. I'm impressed. <laughs> really okay, impressive. this is the best thing we've done all day. You could put this in a sandwich. That would be so good. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, for the next vlog, I will be making eggs in various shapes, including hearts, Christmas trees, and reindeer. Stay tuned. Thanks for coming to my vlog, and that's it. Bye, ladies. Smash, Smash that subscribe button. If you want to see more egg content.